چی بلادی عشتی حد و اماراتینا عشتی لشاب دینه الاسلام و هدیه القرآن و حسن تو که بسم الله یا وطن بلادی 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 حلال مشاهدين اهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقه جديده من برنامجكم برنامج اماراتي كما عودناكم ان نستضيف لكم نخبه من رجال الاعمال داخل دوله الامارات العربيه المتحده يسعدنا اليوم ان نقدم لكم قصه نجاح جديده مع الاستاذ سجن جود افترنون مستر سجن جود افترنون هاو ار يو توداي اي ام فاين ذاتس جريت سو وود لايك تو نو فروم ايرلي ايرلي بيجينينغ هو سجن تيل اس اباوت يور سيلف Today. Uh, my name is Sijin, uh, Sijin Ravi. I'm basically from the Kerala, Kerala from India. And uh, I have started this business in uh, 2014. Mm-hmm. So when I landed in 2007, 2007 in KPMG, so I directly recruited from India and joined in KPMG in UAE. Then I have two years I worked in KPMG, then I moved to Amandam. Auditing another local firm to know about a nook and corner of uh, SME sector basically. Mm-hmm. So KPMG, I yeah, audited its all big companies, MNC companies. So I want to know exactly the SME sector. Mm-hmm. So I moved to the small, medium type uh, industry to know exactly the SME how it is working. And wow. I have worked for almost five years in that company. Mashallah. So you have enough experience on the market inside United Arab Emirates before you decide to open your yes. own company. That's great. So what did you see in Emirates different than the other countries to to decide to open, uh, to start a new journey for yourself? See, if you see the investment plan, if you see an investor basis, then Emirates is one of the best country. So if you see in a global level, it is our 19th position in the list of 20 countries. And if you see in a MENA region, West Africa and MENA region, it is a number one. Mm-hmm. So that itself shows that the Emirates, it's giving a more priority to the investors. Mm-hmm. And if you see the recent amendments, lot of amendments like golden visa, then there's a green visa, then that has increased a lot. Okay. So if you see the overall market level, if you see the global level, world level it is just going to slipping to the recession. But in Emirates, if you see, it is just like going upward. That's true. So Mr. Sijin, let us talk more about RBS and which kind, how you create this uh, company from the beginning and how many employees you have in that time and how many employees you have in this time. I have started in 2014, initially I told that in 2014. Mm-hmm. So when I started uh, my journey, I don't have any contract. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the first contract I got it for 900 dirhams just for accounting work, monthly accounting work. So I started with that one. Mm-hmm. And uh, at that time only one employee, that's also part-time. 
so just uh, i have to just manage with my expenses company expenses and the other work so i have a hope that i can manage so i started with the rbs accounting it is just like an accounting company instead of the entire thing so my passion was to create a full fledged uh, consultancy firm it is like accounting auditing tax and everything together under one umbrella so initially i started like accounting sure. then after one year i have started the auditing one and later stage i have started the tax so it is like uh, who are maybe coming into the business who are maybe just uh, looking for an a consultancy business they can come to start up a company then they can take it from an accounting services they can come to uh, auditing services if they need a tax and advisory service we can provide if they are looking for a consultancy services like uh, the aml esr cbcr then they can go ahead with that one also so it is just like one step even even if some clients they are looking for a liquidation of companies they want to close down and to move to some other countries mm -hmm. even that one liquidation we are providing and we are one of the insolvency practitioner in dafc and mainland and recently we have listed as uh, uh, this uh, frc expert as a bank uh, bankruptcy expert mm -hmm. panelist that's a great more than 200 and plus uh, different nationalities inside united arab emirates and there is a big challenge between this kind of companies how you know inside uh, united arab emirates so how you prove yourself in the market what is the specialized in your company see basically a lot of auditing companies are there in uae if you see nook and corner there is an auditing company or accounting company or tax consultant how we are doing that we based on a trust basis okay so whatever the uh, whatever the work we are doing we will be doing on a hundred percent quality basis not based on whatever we are getting signing mm -hmm. so we will take any assignment based on a proper audit and we will maintain that quality so that level the clients are even without giving an advertisement the clients are coming back so we will get a lot of reference and saying that okay these mm -hmm. guys will do very well so that is one thing and we want uh, simply doing it just like a mm -hmm. namesake we want to do any work so we will properly even if the fees are very less but the work wise we want to do any compromise on the quality wise so that is the main criteria mm -hmm. as a successful businessman how you are choosing your team behind to give the best quality service for the customers they are really important they are your second family and your right hand as well yeah so basically we are doing on the basis of the professional experience mm -hmm. where they have worked before so that is a main criteria and the education background mm -hmm. it is not like a simply the the accounting degree or anything we want to take it either a professionally qualified or semi qualified so out of we have 20 staff all people are either professionally qualified or semi qualified mm -hmm. that level so one thing is that we can achieve that uh, the quality will be same level mm -hmm. so even uh, we have a quality checking and everything and uh, the report whatever it will be going only based on that quality checking again there is a big challenge between this kind of companies so uh, let us talk about the quality and quantity as well uh, here quantity and uh, quantity if you see we have a lot of clients it is like 100 plus clients it's uh, based on sme sector then a medium size and even for the big level mm -hmm. and some of the clients is even now uh, the the international level it's uh, done by big four and the national level we are doing so it's we are getting for uh, that type of clients so basically even some of the big four even uh, they referred some of the clients to us so that means that the quality is a uh, prime importance the best clients for RBS, uh, can you mention some of them? We have Oman Insurance. Oh, that's great. Uh, so we have uh, then uh, other clients. It's a uh, lot of clients. Uh, there are some clients are it's uh, difficult to explain the. <laughs> of course. <laughs> because uh, confidentiality and everything. We will since we are here in Dubai. So we will inspire from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid in his vision box. He is saying to reach number one, it's easy, but to continue on the same level, it's a little bit difficult. What's your comment on that, and how you will stay on the same level? So main vision for. For any company it must be based on the built or trust okay mm -hmm. so that is the main criteria even if it is a small enterprise or mm -hmm. even if it is a big enterprise trust is important thing mm -hmm. so if you have a trust in a client's business then you can develop anywhere anywhere in the world it is that is a main thing 
And even if it's in a difficult situation, if you see here in a UAE, it's in a pandemic, then that's managed very well. Mm -hmm. And that gave an impression to the investors that we can anywhere in a difficult situation you can manage. Of course. We'll talk about your vision and your future plan. How you know in Emirates, uh, of course, they have their own vision. Every year they have a future plan uh, for themselves. As a successful businessman here in United Arab Emirates, let us talk about your future plan on the short term and the long term as well. Uh, we want to develop all Emirates in a different, different uh, entities. As of now, we have just started Abu Dhabi entities uh, recently and we want to uh, set up in another Emirates. So we want to cater all areas giving a services. For example, if somebody is looking for an Abu Dhabi location, we can service. Somebody is looking for an Fujera location, it's uh, difficult because of the distance mm -hmm. if you want to travel. Some of the clients, they prefer only in clients' places. Mm -hmm. But in a, during COVID time, they are ready with the online mm -hmm. services, but now it is a just change. So the entire business is a change. They want to come to the places and do the audit. So okay. the, that thing is an uh, important thing. So we want to... Maybe vision... we can see you in all GCC, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck GCC. on that, of course. <laughs> yeah. After this all years from experience till you reach in the success, so of course there is some people who was around you, they were supporting you and they was your backbone. Who deserve a thanks today from Sijin? It's a first place, it's from the family itself. Uh, when I resigned from the last job, uh, my wife told that, okay, you can start, there is no issue. So mm -hmm. that itself giving a hope that I can start. Mm -hmm. Because even though I have a passion, then uh, still the family support is uh, more important okay. other than this one. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I got a lot of uh, clients reference. Even mm -hmm. after five years, when I uh, resigned, when I started the new company, after five years, one client has called and asked, can you come for a meeting? That's the first order I got it. Wow. So after five years, so that itself, so that it's a reference is an important thing. Got to place them all, all. Of course, we'll talk about the Emirates on the end. There is high safety, high security, and they are supporting everyone to his, reach his uh, target and goal. So uh, today, last message as will be from your side. We will start it from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rajid, and all the leadership of the Emirates, how they are proving for us many stuff. It's make it easier for the investors to uh, invest and prove himself on the market. I'm Sijin uh, Sijin Kairavi uh, from RBS and Abdurman Origin and RBS Group. Uh, I'm thanking uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Saeed uh, for giving an opportunity to the all investors, including me, uh, to uh, to achieve a lot in this UAE. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, UAE it is a very good country. And if you see the safety part, it is uh, compared with any other country. We have a number one in the world. And the security wise, even for the girls or women or whoever maybe, it is very well managed. And if you see the other areas like uh, even for the uh, business entities, even for the uh, low level income people, a lot of people are coming into UAE. And if you see, it's a lot of uh, almost 9.9 uh, 9 .9 million. Uh, 9 million uh, people are there in UAE, out of these 87 percent are the other nationalities. That means the 200 nationals are uh, staying and living there. All these things only because of uh, UAE's vision and uh, their purpose. So I am thanking again to the uh, Sheikh Saeed for giving an opportunity to give a uh, proper investment in this Country. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Sijin, who was with us in Emirati TV program. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you very much for having a nice interview. Thank you, thank you very much.